Hey, Precision Pyro Supply here. I'm just going to do this little quick informational video about all the different types of uh, 37mm reloading hulls that uh, are most commonly available to reloaders. Um, and um, sort of their pros and their cons. I spent a lot of time on the phone walking people through the sort of uh, weird laws and weird safety considerations of 37 millimeter stuff and um, lately I've just been a lot of questions about aluminum hulls and uh, are they as good as plastic hulls and what are the different types and so on and so forth so we're just going to run through some basic concepts here really quick um, first type of hull a lot of us older uh, 37 millimeter pyro guys um, have these uh, plastic hulls. Uh, they're readily available and uh, uh, left over from um, ammo, Atlas ammo, um, ordnance group, all that kind of stuff. So these plastic casings uh, used to be very, very common. Um, still see them a lot. Um, I reloaded them for years until I realized there was something better. Um, there wasn't a whole lot available when I started out. Um, so I sort of learned as I went, uh, but that's that one, very common. Uh, the next set of uh, aluminum hulls are, uh, several different companies made them at one time, uh, but they have a, a glue-in uh, plastic powder bushing. Uh, you can see on this one it's still some, some hot glue on the bottom from when I, I stuck it in there. Uh, you'll see there's a powder bushing in this one, and then the taller hulls. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, they have these glue-in powder bushings. Um, I currently sell uh, both the glue-in powder bushing as well as uh, these ones here that uh, have a uh, milled-in powder cup. Uh, let's see if you can see it here. Sort of a milled-in powder cup. It's all one metal piece, uh, billet aluminum pretty cool. Um, there's some made by uh, Ordnance Group and uh, the ones I carry are uh, uh, I get from my buddy Ryan Fisher. Um, in any case those are the two that I sell um, both in ammo and uh, empty hulls although ammo is a better deal uh, all around. I have the glue-in powder bushing and the milled-in powder bushing. And then finally, um, sometimes you'll see screw-apart uh, hulls. Uh, I don't use these ones much anymore. These are MLR hulls. Um, the wall is very thick and so you can't hardly fit any projectiles in there unless you buy them from him. So, let's get into some basic physics. Um, obviously, Plastic doesn't last as long, doesn't hold up to as much pressure. Um, but uh, the basic physics of uh, 37 millimeter reloading hulls is pretty, uh, pretty simple here. Um, basically, the plastic hulls don't have a powder cup at the bottom. You have a very shallow area uh, of powder. And uh, so what happens is... Um, your fire from your primer travels up through the powder and onto your projectile and there isn't a whole lot of powder uh, above the the primer fire. Glue in powder bushing there's more powder right above the primer so more engaged by the primer but you also have sort of the plastic powder bushing that almost acts like a cushion. So you got a more efficient use of powder here with the plastic powder bushing, but you also have um, a, a lot more wiggle room and a lot, um, a, a lot more forgiving setup here because that plastic powder bushing will absorb a lot of shock and energy, but you're still getting a very efficient use of the powder. And then here um, is a milled-in powder bushing, so it's all metal, all one piece. 
uh, and the most of the powder is directly over the primer more than the others and so you get a very very quick development of pressure and shock wave um, and also you get a very localized area of fire um, so if your fuse is off here or here um, you won't always see it lit also uh, the pressure develops much quicker and can sometimes be a bit rough on projectiles depending on what kind of projectile and then one step above that is one with the machined in that has a bevel at the bottom so that has the most powder above that primer and you get much much more pressure developed and again because of that localized in the center um, multi projectile rounds um, rounds that split into several projectiles is, um, doesn't really work very well um, and they all have their pros and cons uh, I still use some of these plastic holes from time to time because they're, they don't develop a very strong pressure and shock wave and they don't use up all the powder um, that you put in them. Uh, you end up wasting powder, but as it turns out, uh, that lower pressure uh, wave, that lower volume of pressure, uh, sorry, the, uh, the buildup of pressure being slower behind your projectile, it's much gentler. So with these plastic holes, there's many different types. This is just one I grabbed out of a box. Um, but there's several different types. They're all very similar. Um, in any case, because they're much kinder to projectiles, um, I still use them for um, smoke projectiles or, or projectiles that are more delicate and would be ripped apart by some of the higher pressures uh, of some of the more efficient hulls. Um, the hulls with the glue-in powder bushing uh, are by far the most versatile and they have um, they're very forgiving they they have a lot of um, range in the pressure that you can use in them uh, and they're very versatile because if you needed to have a lower uh, pressure uh, load you can take out the uh, powder bushing uh, also that powder bushing will absorb some of the pressure so again it's kinder to your projectile if you're just starting out I always recommend the, the glue-in powder bushing for people who are starting out um, so you have a little bit more margin of error a little bit better safety um, and um, in general you're not limited to the type of projectile you can put in um, or what you can do with it. The downside is that these will pop out sometimes. Uh, I glue them in. They are reusable, uh, but they do pop out and you have to clean them and then put them back in if they pop out. Um, so it just takes a little bit more time in your build. Um, takes time and, and energy to do that, but it's, it's worth it if you're just starting out to have all those options. Um, now you get to the designs with the milled in powder bushing and they're very efficient and they're very quick to prep um, and they produce a lot of pressure but because of the high pressure um, that shock wave will be very rough on delicate projectiles like smokes and um, and also you know you tend to rip apart projectiles at a much lower grain weight of load um, with these um, glue in powder bushing and the milled in powder bushing you use uh, substantially less lift charge, uh, possibly you know up to 30% of your original. So you, you save, I mean, easily 30 to 50% reduction in lift charge for the same altitude, which means you can take that savings in lift and roll it over into your projectile, which is pretty awesome because you can increase your effects in your projectile. Whereas with the plastic one, you're overloading it to get uh, distance and altitude and so you're, you're limiting the legal amount you can put in your bursting projectile but if you're doing smoke or a flare you know 
that that really doesn't matter very much. Um, so they're all good options. Um, starting out, there's nothing wrong with the plastic, but you're going to waste a lot of materials and not get good distance or altitude. Um, I always recommend the glue-in powder bushing. It's versatile, it's higher pressure, more efficient, uh, but it's also very forgiving and kind to uh, the reloader. Uh, and then finally, for major reloading, where you're not reloading a lot of delicate projectiles and you want to save time and money and black powder or Pyrodex, uh, the milled-in powder cup versions um, are a great option but again you're limiting yourself a little bit um, but if you're a real professional real experienced you can find ways to make those work too um, there are a lot of longer aluminum hulls out there um, they're more expensive uh, they don't add a lot the only thing they're really good for is um, when you have a very long projectile with a back end that's finned where you need to cap that projectile in a tube that's tighter than your barrel to get good distance and good power. Uh, so fin projectiles, um, corkscrew projectiles, um, you know, projectiles that you need pressure behind them for longer, whatever reason that might be. And there are screw apart projectiles uh, out there for both smokeless and black powder. I don't mess with smokeless very much. I really love black powder, Pyrodex reloading. Uh, this one's MLR, has a milled in powder bushing. Um, it's very efficient, but his, his design uh, precludes use of the most commonly available reloading materials. So anybody, you know, they'll buy his stuff and they'll realize they can't do a whole lot with it unless they buy their products only from him. So, you know, I use it for some random testing. But, you know, not really marketable since everyone else is going with a more standard uh, version of hull. And, um, you know, that's just the way it is. So, uh, come to our website. Check out your different options. Uh, we have uh, live ammo loaded for um, your milled-in powder bushing. For your more advanced folks, we have kits for that. And then we have ammo in the glued in powder bushing uh, that we recommend to all beginning reloaders because of the versatility and the efficiency and uh, I don't I don't really even mess with selling the plastic ones they're they're so cheap and they're everywhere and and you have to overload them I just you know I point new folks straight to the glue in powder bushing ones just because there's so many advantages and uh, you still get some of the safety um, so I hope this overview has been really helpful for guys, help you explain some stuff. It will save me some time on the phone trying to uh, offer you products that are, you know, going to fit your needs. Um, and, uh, you know, I love 37 millimeter. Uh, if you guys order and you want to give me some feedback on effects you like, things that you like, things that you don't like, uh, I do offer discounts for return customers. Give me feedback. Um, we're coming out with new products all the time. We're going to have new ammo out. We're going to have 26.5 ammo coming out this summer. Um, so stay tuned. Check out our Facebook, our other YouTube videos, and our website. Be safe and uh, have some fun.